We've made the observation that when you take a limit as x approaches c, what happens at c itself doesn't matter. But there are exceptions to that. And in this video, we'll look at two of the exceptions. So ordinarily, the limit as x approaches c of f of x does not depend on f of c. If P of X is a polynomial, the limit as X approaches C of P of X is P of C. So in this case, you compute the limit just by taking C and plugging it in. So for example, with a limit as X approaches two of X squared minus X plus one. This is a polynomial. So to find this limit, we simply plug this two in. Four minus two plus one is three. Why is this? True. Well, suppose you have the limit of a polynomial. According to the sum rule, we can break the limit of a sum up as the sum of limits. Now, these a sub i are all constant multiples. According to our constant multiple, we can pull them all out. Here, there's not really anything to pull it out of, but the limit of a constant is a constant. Now we've got the limits of powers. And our power rule says the limit of a power is the power of the limit. Finally, the limit as x approaches c of x is c. And this limit is precisely what you get if you take this polynomial and plug C in for X. There's a corollary to this. We can use this rule to find the limits of a second type of polynomial. But this time we have a caveat. The type of function that I'm talking about is a rational function. If R of X is a rational function, then the limit as X approaches C of R of X equals R of C. Yeah. But to you is this result. We need to make sure 
that R of C is actually defined. Where this comes from, I mean, let's say we have a rational function. And we want to take its limit, say the limit as x approaches a three of this. Well, the limit of a quotient is the quotient of the limits and because this is a polynomial and this is a polynomial we can find both these limits by plugging this number in And you see this expression here is R of three. And what is it? Uh, six plus four is 10, nine minus one is eight. This comes from the fact that we might plug C in to R of X, and it might not be defined. We might get a division by zero error. And if R of C is not defined, what does that mean? Well, the limit might exist or it might not. And we'll talk more about this special case towards the end of this section.